Hello. In this video, we are going to investigate why the ensemble average of the energy changes with temperature in the way that it does in statistical mechanics. In other videos, I have introduced various Hamiltonians for interacting and non-interacting two-level systems. The simplest of these is the Hamiltonian for the lattice gas, which is shown here. This Hamiltonian describes a system composed of n discrete spins that can point in one of two directions, either up or down. Si here is the coordinate of the I spin, so to specify the microstate, we need to provide n of these spin coordinates. We have shown elsewhere that the average energy for these lattice gases is given by the following expression where in this expression, beta is the inverse temperature. To understand why this energy follows this trend, I'm going to show an animation on this slide. In the central panel here, I have plotted the average energy as a function of temperature using the expression from the previous slide. The panel on the right then shows the density of states. This density of state tells us the fraction of microstates with each of the possible values of the energy. As you can see for the two level systems we have a binomial distribution um, for the density of states with E which is peaked at a value of E of zero. On the left I have then shown the probability of having each value of the energy at a particular temperature. I have evaluated this distribution using the expression shown here, which comes from our understanding of the canonical ensemble. Furthermore, the sum in this expression runs over all the microstates and not over all the spins. Last but not least, I have indicated the average energy at the temperature I have plotted the probability in the left panel using the red dashed line here. By using the graph in the centre panel, you can thus determine the temperature that we have plotted the canonical distribution of energies at in the left panel. To show how the canonical distribution of energies changes with temperature, I have made the following animation which shows how this distribution changes as the temperature is increased. The red line also changes to reflect the fact that the ensemble average energy of the system is increasing. What we see is that at low temperatures, we move from a distribution that is largely determined by the energy values to a distribution at high temperatures that gets progressively more and more similar to the density of states. We can understand why this happens by considering the expression for the canonical distribution of energies from the previous slide. Let's start by considering what happens to this distribution in the high temperature limit as beta tends to zero. In this limit, the exponential term in the numerator and the denominator here tend to one. We thus find that the distribution reduces to the number of states with energy E divided by the total number of microstates. In other words, in the high temperature limit, you recover the density of states. In the contrasting low temperature limit, where beta tends to infinity, you proceed as follows. We can first write the energies in the 
in the expression, the EI here, relative to the energy of the lowest energy ground state, E0. We thus write EI as EI minus E0 plus E0. We can then use the laws of exponentials to rewrite the exponential of this sum as a product of exponentials, and we can take out the factor of e to the minus beta e0 outside of the summation. We thus arrive at the result shown here. Notice that the factors of e to the minus beta e0 from the numerator and denominator cancel. Now consider the exponential term that appears here and in the denominator. If EI and E0 are equal, then this term will be equal to E to the 0, i.e. 1. If, however, EI and E0 are not equal, then this exponential term will be 0 as beta is infinite. If there is only one microstate with energy E0, the sum in the denominator is thus 1. The final distribution thus becomes 1 when EI is equal to E0 and 0 otherwise. These limits thus allow us to understand the behaviour that we saw in this movie. At low temperatures, the distribution of energies is determined by the energies of the various microstates. As temperature is increased, however, the distribution of energies gets progressively closer and closer to the density of states. The reason the lattice gas transitions from an ordered state at low temperatures to a disordered state at high temperature is thus that the ordered state has a low energy, but there are many more disordered states than there are ordered states. At high temperature, therefore, when all the microstates are close to being equally probable, the system will most likely be disordered. It is worth considering what would happen if the density did not have this structure with many more high energy states than there are low energy states. What happens, for instance, if we have a density of states similar to the one shown on the right here, which has many low energy states and relatively few high energy states? Well, as you can see from the movie, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the average energy does not change significantly with temperature. The system prefers to be in a low energy microstate at low temperature. Furthermore, at high temperature, it will remain in these low energy states as there are more low energy states than there are high energy states. Let's consider one final example. What happens if we have a density of states that is uniform? If the energy levels are all equally probable and all equally spaced, you have a harmonic oscillator. As you know, the average energy of the harmonic oscillator increases linearly in accordance with classical equipartition. In this movie, we see deviations from linearity, but this only occurs because the number of states is finite. If you have an infinite number of equally spaced microstates, as you do in a harmonic oscillator, you really would see a linear increase in the average energy at all temperatures. To summarise then, what we have seen is that at low temperature, the system will occupy the lowest energy microstate. At high temperatures, however, the probability of become, being in a microstate is proportional, of having a particular energy, is proportional to the number of microstates with that energy. If we thus know the density of states, we can predict how the average energy will change with temperature and thus understand the behaviour of our physical system.